welcome back to Ormsby Farm. My name is Casey. So on today's video, since I'm doing all this week, I am doing a Croctober recipe. I was so excited when my friend Jenny Goff over at Jenny Goff Scratch Kitchen invited me for Croctober. October, because I love my crock pot. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my Instapot as well. I love them equally. But the fall, the winter, that is crock pot weather. And so I'm gonna do one of my favorite recipes that I do all the time. It's like a really good comfort food, and that is arroz con pollo. So that's gonna be like a Mexican chicken and rice, and we're gonna do it with all homegrown stuff. <sighs> If that's something that interests you, stick around. I'm coming home. Alrighty, what I like to add into it is I like to do chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I put them in literally still frozen right out of the freezer. And I pre-prep all of the meat in single servings. So I'm just gonna pop those right in. Again, still frozen. And then we're gonna add everything else. Alrighty, next I'm gonna put in is I'm going to put in three cups of chicken broth. Now I can and um, boil my own bone broth. So I'm going to do two cups of my bone broth and then I'm gonna do one cup, which is a half of a pint of water. So a full pint of broth, half pint of water. There's gonna be so much flavor that it really won't even matter about the one cup of water. Next, I'm gonna do a jar of my salsa. Make sure you get all the good stuff in there. I'm gonna pour in a cup and a half of uh, the uh, rice, uncooked rice. The next is a jar of uh, green chilies. I haven't done my chilies yet. I haven't canned my chilies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in some jalapenos, but I'm only gonna put in a half a jar because the normal jar is a small one. So we're just gonna dump the vinegar and everything in there. Last but not least, we're gonna do a packet of taco seasoning. Now, I make my own taco seasoning. If you wanna know how to do that taco seasoning, go ahead and leave that in the comment section and I'll do a video on it. But it's pretty much a half a cup, that's what a packet is, of your homemade seasoning. So I'm just gonna dump out probably the rest of this in here. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead now and just give it a good stir so that all the seasoning is mixed into it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lid on and I am going to put it on high. For three and a half hours and is that simple this is why i love crock pots this is why i love crocktober i will see you in about one and a half two hours and i'll show you how it's looking all right y'all we're about halfway there we're about at an hour and a half you see the rice is starting to kind of thicken up um but now we're just going to kind of put the top back on and let it keep it rolling see you in another hour and a half still got some more time but it's thickening up you see the rice is starting to boil. And now what I'm gonna do probably in another 45 minutes is I'm gonna take the chicken out, shred it, and put it back in. So see you then. And look how thick and beautiful it's gotten, y'all. Oh my gosh. So now I've shredded the chicken and all I'm going to do is just slide it back in. And all the rice I got with it. it back in and 
And now I have it on keep warm, so all I'm gonna do is just put this, and when it's ready to serve, I'm gonna go serve it. So I still have it probably about an hour before I'm ready for dinner. So I will see you in about an hour. And of course, one thing you cannot forget when you're ready to eat it, a dollop of sour cream. Bloop, 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 bloop. And y'all, this is like super freezer friendly too. Um, I do it all the time, that big of, um, of a portion of it. And I freeze it for really busy nights when I'm coming back from church and I just don't have the energy to cook anything. I pull that out. I can actually put it in frozen right into the microwave and the, the ice crystals from the freezing part of it, it's kind of like the steaming stuff that it needs to heat it back up. It's so good. It's so good, and the jalapenos give it a, ooh, 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 ooh. give it a kick. Oh my God, so y'all, thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know that anytime that new content drops to the channel. Thank you again to Jenny Goff for involving me in this collaboration. I had so much fun. I love crock pots, so y'all know it, I know it, everybody knows it. And I'm gonna leave more details in the playlist of Croctober, as I'm spitting food out of my mouth, in the description box below. Y'all go ahead and follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Ormsby Farm, you know the drill. Till next video, be blessed. I'm gonna finish eating. Mm, see ya. Mm. I'm coming.